Oh. Not even waiting for the belt. All right, well, Hutch Henry's here. Wow, a classic. Chris, you must be disappointed to one of your favorite teams here. Uh, professionally gacked, jacked. Oh, getting oh. jacked by the Italianos here. That's not looking good. The oh, bell just finally sounded. Our official okay, bell. Now. Professional Jackson Jarvis, he attempted to kind of Shanghai the Italianos here. Oh, oh. And they were too smart for him. But these guys. These guys make veterans look like freaking rookies. These guys are veteran veterans. But here's the thing though, Hutch. The match officially started. The fact that the referees allowing this double team effort to start off this match is ridiculous. And of course, professionally jacked. Seriously uh, hot and bothered here by what's going on. The Italianos had their number from the first jump of the match here, right from the go get. Well, the Italianos are back, and they're they're serious. They want the championships. But this is not looking good for professionally Jack. I'm glad they're outside the ring, getting their composure, getting everything together, and sending the big man in. Chef Boyardee. Here we go, Rage certainly upset, and that's not gonna really bode well for him and the professional. Rage, when you get him hot, when you really bother him, I mean, his technique goes right out the window. We've seen this guy get flustered and lose match after match, Ooh. so. But see, there's one thing though about Rage. It doesn't matter how angry he gets. He's a violent man. Well, he is powerful. He'll throw you around. That's why he's no longer in the CFL because he was too violent. Well, he certainly is like the Hulk, and I don't mean Hogan. I mean, if you get him, the stronger the matter he gets, the stronger he gets, it seems. Look at that again. Primo Scordino, no small guy. This guy's a personal trainer for a living, bodybuilder, professional, and competitive. He's a huge, huge man, and Rage is throwing him around like he's a hot potato, like he's nothing. Get him off me, man. Oh, look at Rage. All right, I gotta get my composure here. Because I tell you, watching these two teams coming to the ring takes a freaking half hour or so. Kind of gets me flustered. Oh. Also gets me kind of excited. Wow, speaking of Ragdoll earlier, there you go. There's another example of that. Primo caught in the corner. Not the oh. place to be with the big man Rage. Top no effect. Like I said, Primo, he oh. is not a weak man. I've seen him chop people and they look like they've been shot with a shotgun. Rage brushing it off like it's nothing. Oh, and catching him, picking him out of midair like it's nothing, powering him up. Primo gets out. Primo using that agility to get down. Rage doesn't even know what's going on. Turn around a circle. Oh, Rage again. Yeah, I was wondering if Rage was just waiting for him, and he was. Oh. Wham! Oh. There's your scouting report, Rage says, talking to big Tony Carboni. And it's like nothing. Look at that. Oh, raking the eyes with his foot. That was vicious looking. Jarvis tagged in now. Did you see that exchange? An entire exchange was absolutely terrifying from Rage. Well, what's that old expression? You don't poke the bear, so you don't piss off Rob Rage. Freshly jacked with firm control right now. But don't count Primo out. He's skilled, he's a vet. Primo's very dangerous in the ring. Wow, going after him. Beautiful. Beautiful, using the referees back to his advantage. Excellent teamwork by Professionally Jacked. You know, everyone forgets that Professionally Jacked is a young tag team. They're finally getting their groove together, as it seems. Like, heck, at Rose City Riot, they should have walked out tag team champions, but very, should've. very smart maneuvering by Jake O'Reilly and the Piss Peter still tag team champions. Well, you had to know something was up that day, and I was, uh, you know, I'm surprised. I don't know, I really don't know what to say. You know, there's, a, there's an argument to oh. say that that was a very, uh, a very weak win and should not be a, a tag team title victory. But, I mean, that's oh, what they signed on for. Here comes the tag. Bam, Carboni in there. I'm sorry, Chris. I've actually talked to a few Here we people go. about that match. And everybody has a different opinion, but I'll tell you. Oh, wow, Carboni only has one opinion. And that's that the Italianos should be the champs. Oh, he's fired up. Crossfire Tag Team Championship is the only championship that the Italianos have not held, and oh, they want it. Nice. The kidney. Robert, oh, but it, big man. This is, now this is going to be dangerous. Carboni trying to give Rage a receipt, oh. but... Again, Rage just shrugging off everything today. I don't know what's going on with him. Is a P90X, some, some kind of new workout or supplement? This guy oh. is completely indestructible today. 
Rage is ready for this, Hutch. Now this is what I fear. Getting Tony Carboni and Rob Rage in the ring at the same time. I don't know if the crossfire ring can hold these two. Two massive individuals. Oh. Wow, just crushing and stepping on the back of Carboni. All I know is either men I would not want to meet in a dark alley. Off the ropes, no, not even. Rage oh. doesn't even need the momentum of the ropes. Has enough power to throw a man like Carboni across the ring into the turnbuckles and have him wincing in pain. Oh, oh. wow, look at that. That's Tony Stickball Carboni in the ring that Rage is doing that to. This is not a small that man. Is, that this is man why is massive. Rob Rage was Jay Moore's personal bodyguard. Oh, the ring shifted there, Hutch. Oh, yeah, look. Man, Rage, I don't know what's going on with this guy. I have never seen him so intense, so confident, but, so but powerful. But look at the other end of the ring, Hutch. Yeah, I see That's the where the genius the comes into play. You get into Primo's head, he comes in the ring, the ref cuts him off, and, you're, and Tony Carboni is left to be victimized in the corner. Just stretching Carboni, that was absolutely brutal. Damage has been done, Rob Rage back to the attack. Look at that, just complete disrespect for Tony Carboni, that's not good. Picking him up, and picking him up! Whoa. That's one massive bear hug and a lot of strength to get a guy like Tony Carboni off his legs. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over. This is Tony effing Carboni in the ring here. The fans it's getting behind him, but I don't know if it's going to help. That bear hug is cinched in. Tony Carboni, the enforcer of the Italianos. Uh, one. One arm down. A second. Come on, Tony. You don't want to lose like this. These are your oh. people. Oh. Damn. Box a second the time. I don't know if anything's going to affect Rage today. Look at that. Oh. Oh. It's just closed line. Rage just released the bear hug because he was getting annoyed. It's not like Carboni actually did anything to harm him. Big oh, yeah. tag to the professional, who I got to say has made a very wise choice in his tag team partner here at Crossfire. What's that? Oh. Here come the suspenders. I'm so sorry. I'm so used to calling Tomer Shalom matches. I was like, what's he pulling out of his tights? Illegal object? Now this isn't smart, Jarvis. You're taking too much time worrying about your wardrobe instead of worrying about Tony Carboni. He says, this is for you. Oh, oh Spine Buster driving him down. But I bet Rage oh. wishes he had just kept beating on Tony Carboni. The professional didn't do nothing but walk around and then get basically started eating some garbage. Primo gets the tag. Got him leveled. Oh, flying shoulder block. Primo's on fire. He's fired up after watching his partner just get manhandled by professionally Jack. Oh. Bam. Primo's intense right now, look at that. Deep into the corner, Scordino knows this could be his only chance. Come on, professional, get One, out of there. Two, three, four. Okay, the fans are counted. oh nice Jarvis. Down, Jarvis missing oh. with the punch. Wham! <laughs> Scordino give him showing him who's boss here. I'm sure glad I'm sure the Italianos are happy that Rage tagged. Oh man, oh. there's Rage from behind. Brilliant. Rage did not like what he was seeing on the outside of the ring. Well, this has been Rage's match from beginning to end. Oh. Primo leapfrogs the big man, leaving Jarvis alone. Oh no, this isn't good. Here comes Rage. He's not happy what what happened there. He's grabbing Scordino outside the ring. Oh. Wow, face first onto the apron. Pre Tony Carboni doesn't know what's going on. Oh! oh! Rage smearing his own partner, Carboni. Oh! Carboni at the fourth. No! <laughs> Rage! was the most destructive thing in this entire match, and unfortunately it was the most destructive thing for his own team. Rage, 
beat up everybody, including his own partner. They're winners, the Italianos. Well, the tag team division better take notice because the Italianos are back with a hard-fought victory over the former number one contender, Professionally Jacked. I'm not a fan of the outcome, but I gotta give credit where credit is due. The Italianos put on one hell of a fight, Hutch.